Gemini, welcome to your love reading. We're going to check on your person's mind, their current intentions, feelings, and their next course of actions. We're going to do a little bit of tarot and then messages from them. Um, this is just going to be a short, quick, energetic check-in um, just to see where they're at in their um, journey. So I'm going to do a lengthy one later down, um, like next week, hopefully. So let's go ahead and start. We have boundaries. And we have take over. Is it time to reclaim and reinvent the structures in my life? Black footed ferret. Okay. We have patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. So this could be a very spiritual um, union between you two. Your person's also spiritual. We have soulmate, a connection from your past life has emerged, embrace the connection. So this is how they feel towards you, this bit, and then this one is, and this is your um, sh shared energy. And then we have heart. You begin to feel your heart beat faster when you are close. Okay, so this person, aw. This person feels dizzy with you sometimes. It's because of their heart. I don't know if they breathe when they first see you, like, especially when you guys met. Um, this person has a hard time, like, breathing sometimes. That is so funny. So cute. Okay. We have new one in Sagittarius. Focus on the positive. So you could be dealing with Sagittarius, your sister time, or this person is just in that energy. We have number 11, the divine order, equilibrium. Again, heavy, heavy soulmate energy. 11, 11. Should be dealing with a twin flame. Oh my god, another 11. Detach. So. So this person, I'm getting with this detach here. Um. This relationship became so overwhelming that it became kind of their life for a little while. And when you felt like th if this person called you all day long, texted you, what are you doing? Always checking in. Um, they felt like you were kind of conquering their life. So they kind of had to pull that back, reel it in and learn how to just let things flow and kind of because if they did not do that they would have easily it became a different monster to kind of tackle with I'm getting that as well um yeah because it was slowly taking over their life so if they're at work they're constantly thinking of you you're the first thing and last thing they think about um at night as well um so they had to put boundaries with themselves So we have, um, this is like the cards that they're kind of honing the skills in, what they're healing or what they have to deal with. We have transform with butterfly. And we have protect. So this person's also very protective over you, over your relationship. So they don't really disclose a lot of information to their friends, family. Um, very protective. I think they learn from the past where um, if they would tell someone about problems like it would always end up being told to people that shouldn't know so this person's very protective over this relationship and since it's also a divine relationship um, it just made it like even more um, imperative that they actually keep their mouth shut so we have onyx, autonomy, self-discipline, command. Tune into your inner commander. Onyx is a strong ally, dispelling loneliness and self-doubt and instilling greater confidence in your decision-making. Face your fears and know that you have the power to overcome them. Onyx's surface represents the passing of time, the balance of the yin and yang. It is a sturdy, sol solitary stone and encourages you to break free from any unhealthy relationships in order to be autonomous. Know that you are completely capable of making the right decisions for yourself. After all, it's your life. 
Sagittarius Saturn. Sagittarian energy here is so prominent. Okay, so this person is transforming that side of them, like the toxic side, and also they're um, cutting people off that are not in the highest good here. Um, I think this person had a thing in the past where they would actually um, like FOMO energy. So if they have friends that always like to party, always like to uh, do this and that. So they're kind of um, healing that side of them that they have to learn how to trust themselves that they don't always have to be surrounded with people um, this is one of the things as well they're actually putting boundaries in that certain aspects of their life so let us look at your tarot um, Gemini's person please next course of action Angel Michael I need five cards whoa discerning very on top of their game okay six of pentacles reversed so this person is cutting off things places or environment that does not serve them again with their highest good if somebody is not giving them the same energy same effort be it friendship family or relationship just even at work as well this person is actually cutting that thing off and they're not in any sort of delusion about that which is a good thing and if prior this person did not want to work with you um Like I was, I'm always hearing toxic masculinity here. So this person probably had a certain thing that women had to do this and that. Um, that's kind of being shifted from them as well. Um, when this person comes to you, this person is gonna be very even keeled. This person's gonna, if you're gonna be putting in the effort, this person's gonna be giving in the same energy. If this was very imbalanced before where you're the only one always reaching out to this person now they're gonna come back um in that same energy as you are so but it might take some time to kind of even the wheel here but they've seen that though okay also with okay so work situation also is a thing here for them What is the nine of had it not been this and the three of swords it looks like someone fucked them over with money um it looks like an, a contract was done and said i'm gonna be you're gonna be paid a certain amount let's say every six weeks or every three weeks every three months but it looks like they got quarter of that and it's this, it looks like this person is very, um, oh God. Well, I'm getting a lot of like storylines, like the money issues are like a huge thing right now, especially with work. Okay, so this person was healing from betrayal. Someone stole an idea that they were working on and someone presented it as theirs. King of Cups. I don't know if this is an ex partner that was in their masculine energy, but it's reversed and, um, 
check. Because it messed with their abundance. So it's someone that... Okay. So Michael is saying... Sorry, Archangel Michael is saying that this was someone they had a very close relationship with what work and it looks like they like one of their projects went awry like it went to bust and it looks like your person had the one to kind of bear the brunt of that failure and that failure i don't know if that came to lesser pay because they did deliver but it did not come out maybe the one that maybe the boss or the one initiated the contract um did not give them the promised money so they pr probably gave them a quarter or half of what was promised because it was not what they ordered or what was asked of them and it looks like your person became the scapegoat. So instead of having the money, they probably, it looks like they planned around this chunk of money that they were supposed to get. And it looks like that did not come to fruition. And a lot of their bills were not paid. I'm even hearing missed child support payments. But judgment reverse this person is not backing down it looks like they might king of swords here they might probably checking in on maybe even bringing in a lawsuit or they're just seeing alternatives because whatever this was they can't be in this environment anymore they have to change course so they're not working on it so they have to find a different job because the passion they had in this work thing it's it's kind of gone because it looks like this your person obsessively worked on this for quite some time and the project went to bust and i don't know if you know that that they were struggling um and it looks like with king of cups reverse this was a boss or a business partnership that was really shitty with them uh this person lied a lot so it's like okay um i'm gonna be sending this part of whatever this weekend and it's not so your person had to end up fixing all of that and then it turned out for not. That's kind of sad. Okay, so that's, um, let's check in on the um, messages for you. Messages for Gemini. I have a feeling that your person might actually take a course of action where they would take it legally. So I don't know if they're gonna sue the ex business partner or the contract, the contractor that they dealt with that did not fully pay. Okay, Gemini's person, please. Messages for them. Okay, number 11. Again, 11 is so huge. We have all about growth. I'm realizing this connection is something special and worth treasuring. We have five. Um, timing and intentions. Please don't give up on me. on me. I'm trying to change, but it takes time. Also, it looks like your person's afraid that with they're afraid that someone's gonna snatch you immediately and take you out of um, being single. So it looks like they're balancing whatever what was not balanced before. I am feeling like a lot of mental confusion and also finances for offering but it should be fine like money is not really like a thing i don't think that you have to 
I don't think you, I'm sensing that you're quite independent as well so you don't really need the money but maybe it's ego for them and we have eight here um, I'm trying to understand how my thoughts create my reality I know I need to stay positive are you because with all this negativity from your person it looks like they're manifesting all that bad luck like they need to learn how to like curtail this negative energy that they're sending out to the universe number eight i know in my heart we'll be together one day and that helps me trust and let's keep working on us okay eight eight here there's a lot of synchronicity again heavy soulmate energy so this is all i have for you gemini um your person has a lot going on with their work area and it sort of bled through your relationship that's why there's like so much going on but yes if you had a um, thing if this was your soulmate or not this person definitely is with 11 11 8 8 here um i'm sure you've seen their names a lot of synchronicities in regarding to this relationship so um I wish you all the best, happy healing, and love and light, Gemini. Take care. Bye.